The hi-hat clutch is the most misunderstood and misconfigured part of our drumming hardware. So band directors, backline workers, and students, this video is for you. Not only does the hi-hat clutch hold the top cymbal securely, but when configured accurately, it also supplies the correct feel of the hi-hats under the stick and with the foot. One quick note before we configure a hi-hat clutch. This video only covers standard clutches. It doesn't deal with drop clutches, quick release clutches, or other drop clutches. However, the configuration should be similar. This is what a properly configured clutch should look like. This is the bottom nut. These are the felts. These are the top two lock nuts, sometimes referred to as tension nuts. This is the wing bolt. Now, let's mount the top symbol and properly configure the hi-hat clutch. First, loosen the top two lock nuts. Next, remove the bottom nut and the bottom felt. Install your top hi-hat symbol. Now, replace the bottom felt and the bottom lock nut. Tighten the bottom nut all the way. Next, bring down the bottom lock nut to the desired movement of the cymbal. Next, bring the second lock nut down and tighten it on top of the first nut to retain the desired amount of movement of the top cymbal. Now, mount your correctly configured clutch onto the hi-hat stand. During play, you'll discover what amount of top hi-hat cymbal movement feels good. Ultimately, experiment and find out what works best for you. If you found this video useful, click on the links below to be taken to a new two-minute lesson. Also, if you have questions or would like to suggest a new topic for a two-minute lesson, contact me at drummersweeklygroovecast at gmail.com.